hello guys welcome to my new Genshin impact video guys today we are going to talk about the upcoming new character Lene. Lene is going to come in 4.0 or by the time you're watching this video is already in the game we know everything about the Lene. Lene is going to be 5 5 shot character owning the weapon wielding the weapon it's a bow so we're gonna talk about the top five Aisha weapon for the Lene that's all some of them are already in the game and you can actually get them and start leveling up your weapon so stay tuned till the end guys we're gonna talk about detailed in the detail the top five five star weapons for the Lene starting off with the number five weapon number five weapon is going to be the skyward hop it's a uh, five star weapon of course and it's a weapon in the game it's a weapon in the standard banner or and in the weapon banner always you can get this weapon in any time in the game it's the skyward hub or maybe you already own this weapon i just love this weapon we just gonna go talk about the r1 refinement not the r2 r3 r4 or r5 so on r1 refinement this weapon get increased crit damage by 20 percent and hits have 60 percent chance to inflate a small area attack dealing 125 percent physical attack damage can only occur once every four seconds and in the main strat this is having the one of the highest base attack 674 and with the 22 percent crit rate this weapon provides both crit rate and crit damage that makes this weapons very very special like you'll give it getting 20 percent crit damage in r1 and 22.1 percent crit rate so that's why i love this weapon that's why i have this weapon on number five that because you can give this weapon to any bow character literally any bow character if you don't have other weapon and if you don't want to wish for the other weapons you can definitely give this uh, weapon to any bow character if you want to be absolutely insane uh five star weapon that's the skyward hub and now on number four i'm having here on number four we have amos bow amos bow it's a signature weapons of ganyu's ganyu signature weapon and we all know that ganyu is also based on the charge attack one thing i want to tell you before talking about the other weapons that uh that your Lene is based on the charge attack, same as the Tignari and the Ganyu. The maximum damage he's gonna deal, he's gonna deal with his charge attack, same as the Ganyu and the Tignari. So, by the time you're building your Lene, just to keep in keep in mind that charge attack is gonna be the main damage. That's the pyro damage. Yes. So on number four, I'm having the Ganyu signature with that's Amos Bow. It's have a 6.608 base attack, 49.6 substrate attack percentage and abilities in like just perfect matches with the kit. It's a charge attack kit and yes, increase normal and charge attack damage by 12%. After normal and charge attack is fired, the damage dealt increased by further 8% every 0.8 second the arrow is in the air for up to five times so this so this will this weapon is definitely going to increase your normal and charge attack damage and if this weapon is going to increase your charge attack damage so that's going to beneficial to the Lene. so on the number four my pick is amos bow now is guys now is number three number three we have the polar star polar star it's a child signature weapon yes but child is not based on the firing bows or the charge attack child is purely based on the normal attacks and the elemental burst damage so how is this weapon going to benefit the Lene over Amos bow and skyward harp first of all this weapon having a 600 and base attack and 33.1 percent crit rate this both these both sides going to benefit Lene because Lene is purely based on the attack percentage and crit is definitely going to benefit Lene then we have the ability elemental scale and elemental burst damage increased by 12 percent that's definitely gonna benefit lene after a normal attack charge attack elemental scale or elemental burst literally anything hits an opponent one stack of the asian night star will be gained for 12 seconds when the one two three four stacks of asian night star are present attack is increased by 10 20 30 and 48 percent respectively uh, the stack of the Ashen Star Night Star created by the normal charge attack elemental skill or the elemental burst will be counted independently of the others. So basically, if you want to perform the elemental skill, elemental burst, or the charge attack with the uh, Lene, Lene gonna get the benefit of the attack increased 
by 10 percent 20 percent 30 percent and 48 percent so definitely this weapon is going to benefit lenny in all the terms increasing the uh, lenny's elemental skill damage elemental burst damage and the charge attack damage as well so that's why on the number three i put this weapon on number three because this weapon is very good weapon not only for lenny but for many many characters on number two, we have the Aqua. Aqua is going is a Yale and signature weapon, and this weapon is not good on maximum characters because of the passive ability. Evan hates the passive ability because it's very it's not so good. Uh, but the main strats are super insane. That's why I love this weapon. The base attack is 542, but the crit damage is insanely high. 88.2% is the crit damage. If you don't know, the Lene is purely based on a nuke, raw pyro attack, uh, pyro damage. I think no reaction is going to be that much important when you're playing with Lene. As I seen him playing and uh, I heard the ability and all, I, you know, the is going to be the pure pyro nuke damage dealer. So that's why this weapon is going to be very very good. This weapon is providing 16% HP increase to the wheeler when there are opponent nearby the damage shield by the wheeler of this weapon is also increased by 20 percent this effect will take effect whether the character is on the field or not so 20 percent uh you know damage deal you're getting and the 16 percent hp you're getting this weapon is not so great but only because of crypt damage i put this weapon on number two there is a tough fight between the polar star and aqua uh, consider both weapon on the number two because both weapons are very good and polar star is the second best weapon after the first great magic that's the signature weapon so for the lenny polar star is going to be second best weapon after the first great magic that's the signature weapon for lenny and now the number one weapon guys of course is going to be the lenny signature weapon this signature weapon is very very similar to what polar star does <laughs> yes guys so i'll say let's just put polar star on number two and hunter's path on number three this weapon is very similar to what polar star does uh, in terms of the you know refinement ability otherwise this is having a 608 base attack and 66.2 percent of crit damage this weapon is called the first crit magic the name is super cool the design of this weapon i love the design it's so amazing it's this weapon is giving you 66.2 percent of crit damage that's huge that's very that's huge like this huge <laughs> Talking about the passive ability, as I told you, is similar to the Polar Stars one. Damage dealt by crit damage, uh, sorry, damage dealt by a charge attack increase by 16% straight on for every party member with the same elemental type as the wheeler, including the wheeler themselves, gain one gimmick stack. For every party member with the different types of type from the wheeler, gain one critic stack. When the wheeler has one to three or more gimmick stack, the attack is increased will be increased by 16 30 to 48 so when the wheeler has one to two, the trader stack movement speed is increased by four seven and ten percent this is a by far uh, the most amazing passive ability of a weapon of a bow weapon i heard in a very long time this weapon is super cool this weapon is giving you not only giving you the you know charge attack damage increase this weapon is giving you the attack percentage or increase also and movement speed also that we have very limited characters and the weapons in the game that buff is the movement speed the weapon is going to be very super cool because this weapons you know increasing your movement speed also i think this one is going to be super super cool not only on uh not only on your Lene, this one's going to be super super insane with the Ganyu. Like Ganyu gaining the movement speed. Just imagine what we can do with Ganyu with the, uh, increased movement speed. When we have the C6 Ganyu and C6 Ganyu combined with the first magic, great magic. The, that's going to be the very amazing, amazing output. I guess so just revise your you know just revise your recap the list the top five list on number five we have the skyward hub on number four we have the amos bow number three polar star number two the aqua and on number one the first great magic thank you for watching this video if you like the video again the like button if you have any question please comment below and i'll try to answer 
and guys share this video with your friends subscribe to my channel we'll meet in the next video till then bye bye take care